We're at this super sci-fi looking station on the Kehan line, Wuji station, but it's like completely made of concrete and it's really cool. It was designed by a person called Hiroyuki Watabayashi. I don't know anything about architecture, but maybe if you do, maybe that means something to you. But yeah, super cool. Uji is probably best known for its matcha. If you've ever had anything matcha flavoured or any kind of matcha, chances are it's probably come from Uji. It's considered probably the tastiest matcha in Japan, so potentially the world as well. I guess today I really wanted to come because I'm trying to reduce my caffeine intake. So I'm trying to cut down coffees to like one a day. And then instead of that, I want to use more matcha as an alternative. So I'm coming here today, I'm hoping to get some tasty uji matcha and the whiskey thing that you use to like mix it, stir it. So yeah, and I'm also excited because apparently there's a lot of different matcha flavored things like bread and gyoza and ramen. So I'm excited to check out some of those as well. I found a few cafes and specialty shops that sell green tea that I really want to go check out. But before we head there, I just want to take a moment to talk about something that has been a game changer for me when I travel overseas. And it lets me use my phone whenever and whenever, just like now. For the past three times that I've come to Japan, I have been able to stay seamlessly connected as soon as I step on the plane, thanks to this amazing invention called an eSIM. If you're not familiar, an eSIM is basically a digital SIM card. This means that you don't have to purchase a physical SIM card when you go traveling to connect to the mobile network. You can just download it. This video is sponsored by Aerolo, which is an eSIM provider that offers data packages in over 200 countries and regions, not just Japan. It's super simple to activate. Um, I do recommend doing this part in your home country before you leave, just because you need an internet connection to be able to like install it. And then this way, your pretty much good to go as soon as you get off the plane. Also, just something to note, not all phones are gonna be compatible with an eSIM, so just check before you purchase it. So you just start by installing the Air Alert app and selecting the SIM card for your destination. My phone has an Australian SIM card in it, so I would select Japan while I'm traveling here so that I can stay connected. There's a range of plans you can choose from. I generally find that 10 gigabytes is enough for like a two or three week trip, but I mean, if you're going to be watching a lot of TikToks or uploading stuff, you might need more, I don't know. Once you select your package, you click buy. I would recommend labeling the eSIM so that you don't get confused. Maybe the destination country. I'm going to call this one Aerolo Japan. Okay, so now that that's done, once you arrive in your destination, you'll have your primary number, so your home country's eSIM will be on. So you want to turn your primary line off. And what you want to do is you want to turn on your eSIM. Pretty much straight away, you will get connection. You will get a mobile network. It'll tell you where the top corner when you're connected. And that's it. And now you can use your phone. <laughs> so it's so easy. Ever since I've switched to eSIMs, I've honestly never looked back. They're just so easy to use and so hassle-free. If you would like to get started, you can use my discount code SUNNY for an extra $3 off. You can also get started through this QR code here. For more details, check the description below. Thanks again to Aerolo for sponsoring this video. And now let's go get some matcha.
are at Byoruin Temple in Uji. It was made like over a thousand years ago and it's never been destroyed by a natural disaster, which in Japan is pretty impressive. <laughs> it's also the temple that you'll find on the back of the 10 yen coin, which is pretty random but cool. It costs 700 yen if you want to enter the temple grounds and walk around it, but if you want to go into the building itself, it's an extra 300 yen. <coughs> Yeah. The first time I came to Japan and I went to Kinkakuji in Kyoto, they also have the Ho statues on the roofs of the temple. And I remember thinking, oh, that's so cool that they put a Pokemon on the roof of the temple. I didn't know which one came first. This place is called Nakamura Tokichi. It's pretty well known. The main branch is just near the JR Uji station. But we were walking past this one and it just looks really good from the outside, so we've come to check it out. comes in a set with this green tea and then this is a matcha jelly I think ああ。アーキティック。アーキティック。人工で。うん。それ
So they use so they use these these to catch during autumn and winter, and these during summer and spring. So they're just two different species. as well as a matcha curry udon. And they look pretty wild. The soba noodles are green and then the curry in the curry udon is bright green. Kay is going to town on the curry udon and it is flying everywhere so they give you an apron. <laughs> and then you also get these like tea leaves. They're like dried, no, they're not dried, they're wet tea leaves. They've got some kind of flavoring, but that's, that's cool. Yeah, the matcha noodles don't really taste that much like matcha. It's a very like mild flavour. And the curry also doesn't taste that much like matcha, but it's a really tasty curry. I really enjoy that curry udon. And it's just a very nice view, isn't it? What a beautiful place to have lunch. So you've got a flavour scale from bitter to less bitter and it also goes up in price range and they recommend we can start here. So these are the flavours and you can see this is the beginner one, starts at a thousand yen per, what is that, 25 grams? And then it goes up all the way to 5,000. is a one to one and a half hour wait for a cafe. So we made the right call in the end. We're at Ujigami Shrine, which is the other UNESCO heritage location here in Uji. Byodoin is a temple and this one is a Shinto shrine. And I think it might be the oldest shrine in Japan, potentially. But what's really cute about it is it's got rabbits everywhere. <laughs> which is super cute. It's a short walk from Byoru in Omotesando and the main Uji bridge. So definitely come check it out. It's, it's free and it's just a really cute little walk around that's not too busy. Come check out the rabbits. Mm-hmm. 
じゃあほうじ、いやでもほうじ茶も一応緑茶に入ってます。緑、これまで緑茶には入らないです。もともと緑茶は緑茶なんですけど、ほうじるので、これは。除外になってしまいます。ほうじるってなんですか。い、いるんです。い、ね、熱を取る。はい、そうです、そうです。ええー、で、玄米茶は、まあ、一応。そうです、ね。緑茶に入ります。緑茶に入ります。えー、煎茶がなよくよく分かんなくてはい煎茶とね緑茶はまあ一緒なんですけど緑茶のうちの玉露煎茶いうって感じになります、えー、玉露は何で玉露と煎茶は,玉露,は、ねはい、玉露と煎茶は育て方が違いますはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいでお煎茶はこちらの畑なので一個当てて育てるので甘み渋み苦みって作ります、ね。あすごい渋みが出る。そうですそうです。ああこれこれは渋渋みが出ない。出ないんです。なんかお風呂の温度四十度でじっくり入れてたこちらになります。玉露は。はい。でかぶせ茶っていうのは玉露と育て茶は一緒なんですけど木に直接黒いオイをかぶせるんです。木に直接。はい。うん、こういうね茶畑のこの木に直接黒いオイをかぶせるんです。で簡易的に育てるので、あのえばお煎茶の温度でも美味しく入りますよっていう玉露ですね。じゃあまあ一番手間暇がかかるのは玉露。玉露です。はい。それも一番お値段も上がる、ね。そうです。お値段も上がってきます。うんうんうん、はい。じゃあラテやったらもこの方がいいです。そうですね。この三つの方がはい。まあ、できてこのこの四つぐらいがラテにもあります。じゃあ最初。これにします。はい、はい、それで、はい、お伝えします。あ、チャセですか？違いがあります。チャセ、あ、あのー、安いのは中国産になります。はい。で、竹の質がやっぱ違ってくるので、あの日本産はねどうしてもお値段が高くなるんです。竹の質がいいので。で、あのー、今韓国産っていうのも出てきてるんです。で、韓国産もどちらで中国と韓国の竹っていうのは硬いんですよ。しなやかさというかしなやかさじゃないですねお茶やってる先生らはすぐ嫌うんですお茶を炒めるのでああなるほどだからどうしてもお値段高くても日本製を選ばれますなるほどありがとうございますCouldn't justify spending 3,000 yen plus on a chasen, especially because I'm such a novice. Maybe further down the line when I know a bit more what I'm doing when it comes to matcha, but for now, I think I'll pass. But I've got some souvenirs for my friends back home, so happy with that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget if you are traveling to Japan or anywhere else for that matter to check out a e r o l o for your eSIMs. You can get an extra $3 off with my discount code SUNNY. You can access it through this QR code here. Details will be in the description below. Anyway, see you next time. Oh, and one final thing. I really like Uji. I really want to come back here either in autumn or as soon as I possibly can. So if you have any recommendations of places to go or things to eat here in Uji, please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you so much. You made me laugh. <laughs>